Hello friends and welcome once again to my YouTube channel Engineering Physics by Sanjeev. This is session number 2 in MCQ series on Electrodynamics. Hope this MCQ series will help you in preparation of different competitive exams like MSTCT, JWE Main, NEET etc. If you like this session, please subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. So let us start with session number 2, MCQs on divergence of a vector function. Question number 1, the divergence of a vector is, the options are a large value, a scalar, a vector, 0. We know divergence of a vector function can be obtained by making a del operator to act on a vector function via dot product and dot product results in a scalar and therefore divergence of a vector function is a scalar. So here B is the correct option. Divergence of scalar function cannot be written. It is meaningless. This is the next question. Divergence of gradient of a scalar function is equivalent to the options are Laplacian operation, curl operation, double gradient operation, null vector. Gradient of a scalar function t can be written as del t by del x x cap plus del t by del y y cap plus del t by del z z cap. As this gradient of t is a vector, divergence of gradient can be found and it can be obtained by taking a dot product of del operator with gradient of t. Now this dot product will result in del 2 by del x square plus del 2 by del y square plus del 2 by del z square t that is del square t where del square is del 2 by del x square plus del 2 by del y square plus del 2 by del z square. This is nothing but a Laplacian operator and therefore divergence of gradient of a scalar function is equivalent to a Laplacian operator. So here A is the correct option. Let us move on to the next question. If V bar is equal to Y X cap plus Z Y cap plus X Z cap calculate its divergence. Options are minus 1, 0, 1 and 3. So which one is the correct option here? Divergence of a vector function can be found by making a del operator to act on a vector function via dot product. When we take dot product of del operator and the given vector function, here we will get del y by del x plus del z by del y plus del x by del z. When you differentiate y with respect to x, we will get 0. When we differentiate z with respect to y, again we will get 0. And when we differentiate x with respect to z, again we will get 0. And therefore, divergence of given vector function y x cap plus z y cap plus x z cap results in 0. So here, b is the correct option. Next one. The divergence of the vector minus y i cap plus x j cap is the options are infinite 1 0 i cap plus j cap plus k cap. So which one is the correct option? Again to find the divergence of a given vector function we will make this del operator to act on the given vector function via dot product. When we take dot product of del operator that is minus i del by del x plus j del by del y plus k del by del z with the given vector minus y i cap plus x j cap plus 0 k cap. Here z component of the given vector is 0. So this dot product results in del minus y by del x plus del x by del y plus del 0 by del z. When we differentiate with respect to x, y will be treated as constant and therefore this differentiation will result in 0. When we differentiate with respect to y, x will be treated as constant and therefore this differentiation also results in 0 and del 0 by del z will be 0. Therefore, divergence of the given vector is 0 plus 0 plus 0 that is 0. So here also the option C is the correct option. Next one, vector f bar is solenoidal if the options are curl of f bar is 0, divergence of f bar is 0, gradient of f bar is 0, del 2 f bar is 0. So which one is the correct option here? 
solenoidal vector field is defined as the vector field with zero divergence at all points in the field and therefore for f bar to be solenoidal divergence of f bar must be zero so here b is the correct option next one find whether the vector e bar is solenoidal e bar is given as yz i cap plus xz j cap plus xy k cap the options are a yes solenoidal b no non solenoidal c solenoidal with negative divergence and d variable divergence we know solenoidal vector field is a vector with zero divergence at all points in the field and therefore to find the answer here we will have to find divergence of e bar so divergence of e bar can be obtained by making del operator to act on it via dot product so let us take dot product of del operator and the given vector this dot product will result in del yz by del x plus del xz by del y plus del xy by del z now when you differentiate yz with respect to x we will get zero because y and z both are treated as constants in this partial differentiation when you differentiate xz with respect to y it will also result in zero and when you differentiate xy with respect to z it will also result in zero and therefore divergence of e bar is obtained as 0 plus 0 plus 0 that is zero and because divergence of e bar is zero the given vector e bar is solenoidal so here option a is the correct option find the divergence of the field p bar equal to x square yz i cap plus x z k cap here y component is zero these are the options given so we will have to find which one is the correct option to find divergence of vector p bar we will have to make this del operator to act on vector function p bar via dot product so the dot product of del operator that is i cap del by del x plus j cap del by del y plus k cap del by del z with the given vector x square y z i cap plus 0 j cap plus x z k cap here y component is 0 this dot product results in del x square y z by del x plus del 0 by del y plus del x z by del z when you differentiate x square y z with respect to x we will get 2 x y z y and z are treated as constants here del 0 by del y is 0 and del x z by del z will be x because here x is treated as constant so the divergence of p bar is obtained as 2 x y z plus x it is there in option b so b is the correct option here if a bar is equal to x square z x cap minus 2 y square z square y cap plus x y square z z cap find divergence of a bar at point 1 minus 1 1 these are the options given here we will first find out divergence of a bar and then we will put x is equal to 1 y is equal to minus 1 and z is equal to 1 to get the correct answer so to find divergence of a bar we will make del operator to act on a bar via dot product so the dot product of del operator and the given vector a bar will result in del x square z by del x plus del minus 2 y square z square by del y plus del x y square z by del z del x square z by del x will result in 2 x z this differentiation del minus 2 y square z square by del y will result in 2 into 2 4 y z square with negative sign and del x y square z by del z will result in x y square now we will put x is equal to 1 y is equal to minus 1 and z is equal to 1 so this will result in 2 into 1 into 1 minus 4 into minus 1 into 1 square plus 1 into minus 1 square so this will be 2 this is minus 4 into minus 1 that is 
and this is 1 into 1 that is 1 so 2 plus 4 plus 1 that is 7 7 is the correct option which is present in D so here D is correct option this is a similar question if f bar is equal to x square y i cap plus y square j cap plus x z square k cap find divergence of f bar at 1 to 1 the given options are 5 8 12 and 10 to find divergence of f bar we will again make del operator to act on the vector function f bar via dot product del operator is i cap del by del x plus j cap del by del y plus k cap del by del z and the given vector is x square y i cap plus y square j cap plus x z square k cap the dot product will result in del x square y by del x plus del y square by del y plus del x z square by del z when you differentiate x square y with respect to x we will get 2 x y when you differentiate y square with respect to y you will get 2 y and differentiation of x z square with respect to z will result in 2 x z now let us put x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 1 so 2 x y will give us 2 into 1 into 2 2 y will be 2 into 2 and 2 x z will be 2 into 1 into 1 so this will be 2 into 2 that is 4 2 into 2 4 and 2 into 1 that is 2 so 4 plus 4 plus 2 that is 10 so here 10 is the correct option which is available in option number C and therefore C is the correct answer here this is the last question in this session if d bar is equal to e raised to minus x sin y i cap minus e raised to minus x cos y j cap find divergence of d bar given options are 3 2 1 0 to find divergence of d bar we will make del operator to act on d bar via dot product del operator is i cap del by del x plus j cap del by del y plus k cap del by del z and the given vector d bar is e raised to minus x sin y i cap minus e raised to minus x cos y j cap here z component is 0 therefore this dot product will result in del e raised to minus x sin y by del x plus del minus e raised to minus x cos y del y plus del 0 by del z when you differentiate e raised to minus x sin y with respect to x y is treated as constant so differentiation of e raised to minus x is minus e raised to minus x this will result in e raised to minus x sin y and when you differentiate minus e raised to minus x cos y with respect to y we will get e raised to minus x sin y because differentiation of cos y is minus sin y minus minus will become plus x is treated as constant because we are differentiating with respect to z del 0 by del z is 0 so here minus e raised to minus x sin y plus e raised to minus x sin y this will result in 0 and therefore divergence of given vector function d bar is 0 d is the correct option here and as the divergence of d bar is 0 d bar is solenoidal so friends we are at the end of this session on divergence of a vector function if you find this session helpful to you please like it subscribe the channel and share it with your friends thank you once again for watching